take a look at this fascinating find. Notice the irregular layers protruding from the mint mark S. This is the elusive 1946 S Roosevelt dime with a repunched mint mark where an S is struck over another S. This RPM, repunched mint mark error, happens when the mint mark is punched more than once in slightly different positions. For the 1946 S Roosevelt dime, this results in a distinctive doubling or overlapping of the S on the coin's reverse. Collectors prize this coin for its rarity and the unique nature of the error. The value of such a coin can vary widely depending on its condition, with high-grade specimens fetching top dollar. This particular MS67 Plus example boasting a full bands designation and eye-catching toning sold for an impressive $600. Don't miss the chance to add one of these treasures to your collection. I'm sure some of you have come across US coins with scattered patina. What might look like a circulated five cent piece is actually an uncirculated superb gem in mint state 67, but its pristine condition isn't the only reason this coin is a collector's dream. This is the rare guidebook variety known as the 1939 Doubled Monticello. This variety features remarkable die doubling on the words Monticello and Five Cents, distinguishing it as the guidebook FS801 variety. In the entire Circulation Strike Jefferson Nickel series, there are only three major doubled dies, the 1939 Doubled Die Reverse, the 1943 Doubled Die Obverse, and the 1945 Doubled Die Reverse. Of these, the 1939 double die reverse is the most dramatic. The doubling on five cents is notably shifted towards the southeast, making it visible to the naked eye. The word Monticello is also doubled, with the doubling shifting towards the east and slightly to the south. This particular example is not only lustrous and high grade, but also boasts lavish powder blue, orange gold, and lilac patina. This stunning coin sold for an impressive $1,920 at Heritage Auctions. Don't miss the opportunity to add such a remarkable piece to your collection. In 1957, Denver's production of quarter dollars more than doubled compared to 1956, resulting in the highest mintage of any Washington quarter since 1944. Gems are available up to MS67, with many of these having been preserved by speculators who put them away in rolls at the time of issue. This elusive specimen, graded in Mint State 67, sold for $264 on May 7, 2024. If you enjoy learning about rare and valuable coins, consider subscribing to our channel for more captivating numismatic content and frequent updates from different coin auctions. Don't miss out on the latest discoveries and insights in the world of coin collecting. This seemingly ordinary pocket change, the 1992 D. Lincoln cent, recently fetched over $920 at Great Collections Auction. Though uncirculated, it is in a lower mint state condition of MS60 with minimal luster in this red and brown specimen. What makes it highly coveted is an error known as the Close AM. The close AM variety refers to the spacing between the A and M in America on the coin's reverse side. In this variety, the letters A and M are nearly touching, unlike the wide AM variety, where there is a noticeable gap between the letters. This error occurred because the reverse die used to strike these cents was intended for proof coins, which featured the close AM design. Somehow, this die was used to strike regular circulation coins at the Denver Mint in 1992. The close AM variety is one of the most popular Lincoln cent errors, significantly adding to the coin's value. Collectors actively seek out these coins due to their rarity and the challenge of finding them in circulation. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fascinating numismatic content and updates from coin auctions. The 1939D Washington Quarter is a fascinating issue, widely saved by the roll when it was new. Although many of these rolls were broken up for singles by the 1980s, they have provided a good pool of gems up to MS66. Um, examples grading higher are scarce and highly prized by registry competitors. 1939D quarters were well made, reflecting the sharp strikes typical of Denver Mint coins during the late 1930s and 1940s. This particular 1939D quarter, graded MS68 by NGC, is a conditionally rare top-grade example of this otherwise plentiful Denver issue. It features a bold strike and satiny mint luster free of discernible abrasions, 
NGC and PCGS combined report only six coins of this grade, with none higher. This piece boasts freckled russet and blue-gray border toning with brilliant interiors that complement its bold strike. It recently sold for an impressive $4,320. For more captivating numismatic content and updates from coin auctions, consider subscribing to our channel. The 1983 No S Proof set is highly prized and unique among collectors due to a significant minting error, the absence of the S mint mark on the Roosevelt dime. Here are the key details about this set. The 1983 No S Proof set stands out because the Roosevelt dime lacks the S mint mark that indicates it was minted at the San Francisco Mint. This error is significant because all proof coins from the San Francisco Mint are supposed to bear the S mint mark. This mistake occurred because the mint accidentally used a die without the S mint mark for producing these proof dimes. The set includes the following coins, all in proof condition. Lincoln Cent, Jefferson Nickel, Roosevelt Dime, No S Error, Washington Quarter, Kennedy Half Dollar. The coins are housed in their original black plastic case which is designed to protect and display the coins. The set also comes with a blue cardboard outer holder adding to its authenticity and value. The rarity and unique error of the No S Dime significantly enhance the set's desirability and value, making it a prized possession for coin collectors. Recently, it sold for $720 at Heritage Auctions. For more captivating numismatic content and updates on exciting coin auctions, consider subscribing to our channel. According to PCGS CoinFAQs, the 1951 D Jefferson Nickel is particularly challenging to find with complete full steps on the reverse design. It is even more difficult to find in MS-66 condition with the full steps designation. No known examples exist in MS-67 or better with full steps, making it one of the more difficult dates in the series to find in gem condition. An example in MS-66 condition with the full steps designation is considered quite scarce, with possibly fewer than 100 known examples. This specimen, graded in Mint State 67 by PCGS, highlights the coin's rarity and quality. It was recently sold for $159. For more fascinating numismatic content and updates from coin auctions, consider subscribing to our channel. Here's an intriguing find. The 2004 Lincoln Cent with a double die reverse. This elusive modern era scent was graded as MS65 Red by PCGS. The double die reverse DDR error occurs when the design on the reverse of the coin is struck by the die in a way that creates doubling of the design elements. In the case of the 2004 Lincoln scent, medium spread and extra thickness are evident on E Pluribus Unum and United States of America. This specimen with its clear doubling was recently sold for $360. For more numismatic discoveries and updates on valuable coins, be sure to subscribe to our channel.